Now I gotta ride or die Guys, we're starting today's video off with a quick look at the newest release on FYDApparel.com, the Bodging Parts Breaking Hearts t-shirt. These are available right now. The link is in the description. We also have these restocked, these premium key tags in gray, pink, black, and green. We have also just released a new bundle pack of air fresheners going from three up to pretty much as many air fresheners as you want. I've also just updated with new ones of these, well, the Dream Chasers Series 1 air fresheners are now live. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to today's video. We're gonna start the day by going through the car park because that's what we do here. We need to know what's in the car park every day. I always like the uh, mix that especially comes through JW Auto Shine. So of course we have the M4 still stuck around. We've got the stone exhaust system going on and some charge piping uh, going on this car at the end of this month. So super excited for all of that. Did give it a clean the other day, but it gets dirty so quickly because I drive this on a daily basis. Getting my kids in the back is a struggle don't get me wrong but loving life in the m4 at the moment of course you guys know what the plans are for that if not go back through the other videos and you will see what's happening we have uh vw but i want to go over to this which is one of those cars i feel like you guys should be buying out there asap these are coming up so quickly and are getting sought after and relatively expensive like every mx5 model is remember guys we had the mark one a few years ago now and that's when they were really cheap mark ones are getting expensive but mark twos are getting there as well because once one mx5 or one variant of a car in my opinion goes up it means it brings all the others up at the same time it's really nice to see that this is actually the owner of the sayat that you guys see a lot he's actually just bought this and it's gonna get a bit nosy and have a look around it because it's actually in pretty good condition airbag model look at that with white dials i'm still a fan of these if you ever want something that's you know relatively exciting to drive not to say fast but relatively exciting to drive and that is cheap get yourself into probably a mark ii these days i would always say mark one because i love pop-up headlights but at the moment mark twos are slightly less expensive let's say just watch out for rust they are incredibly rusty things especially on those rear arches it's nice to see one of these they're still readily available relatively cheap i would definitely get one if you're after anything exciting and you only need two seats just over from that though we do have a scirocco now i love Loved the Scirocco when it came out. This has actually just been dropped off for a quick wash as we get this Escort started. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I love the Scirocco's when they came out because I'm a big Golf fan anyway. So for me, the Scirocco was the nicer version of the Golf at the time. And I never actually got a chance to really do anything with one of these. As this Escort comes out, look at the state of this. Okay, wow. We will touch on that in the not so distant future in this video. But yeah, the Scirocco, I know this isn't to everyone's taste. Love Scirocco's. I would like to uh, shoot an R at some point. Powerful R would be quite nice. I think that'd be a shout. Still nice to see these aging very, very well though. And they've become relatively cheap, which is good. Have this uh, Escort coming in. Escorts on Escorts as usual. Escort here, Escort here. It's all happening, I think someone's uh, biting on this one. It is of course for sale. The owner who bought it off Jason has sort of said he wants to migrate into slightly more expensive, fancier version like an XR3 or an RS Turbo. So nice to see that car uh, really, really clean. And of course, I don't know the deal. We'll find out very, very soon. I think that might be on its way out. We have the mighty Volvo here as well. SVR just getting started up there. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Again, if you've ever got the money, you just would. In my opinion, you just would. Over here though, we have a car that I bought to the channel many moons ago. This is a supercharged E92 M3 and it is a ballistic missile. This is the perfect uh, combination, in my opinion, for the new age drive of a BMW M car and the power, but you have to supercharge it because in my opinion, ones before this, the 46 is fantastic, but you know, sometimes lacking in performance, not necessarily performance as in fast, but as in power performance, unless you do something really, really serious to it. Like this has got V8 natural aspirate, but with that supercharger whapped on top. Yeah, fantastic car, this 
thoroughly enjoyed shooting that. And yeah, I believe that that's probably the better generation if you were to use your money, in my opinion, rather than getting to say an M4. This car is probably actually relatively similarly priced, but it will hold its money because I feel like supercharged stuff, especially supercharged M cars, are sought after in a sense if they're properly built. I do believe that that's sort of a, a lust thing for a lot of M car owners. Maybe not, I don't know. The M car naturally aspirated thing is a big thing, don't get me wrong. For me, I do like the forced induction. If I'm honest, I did really, really appreciate that car. And it makes you think, hell of a car, mate. And it's the nice naturally aspirated M car from that generation. So they will go up. Yes, this is supercharged one. I think that might be the next one to, uh, to go north. And over here we have the glorious Sierra Cosworth that um, I would love to own, but I can't because it's loads of money. It's like a three owner. What's this three owner? Relatively low mileage, I think. Yes, well, yeah, uh, Relatively low mileage. Yeah, it's a nice Just a nice bit of kit, yeah. Getting some paint correction and various other bits and bobs getting done, but mate, we'd all like one, if I'm honest. Leave a comment below if you want a Sierra Cosworth to come to the channel, and I'll try and go and finance one. <laughs> Is that a thing? Could we finance one? Jason, what are you saying in the background? Let's finance one. Right, we're gonna finance the Sierra Cosmo. <laughs> but it would be nice if they weren't so sought after these days and getting horrendously expensive. You know I'd buy one, it would happen. Talk to me, what's going on? <laughs> I'm not seeing this. No, see, we're, not, we're, we're doing a full video of that. Oh, we're doing a full video of that in a minute because you guys need to see the level of the Series 1. It has got out of control. And, mate, you ever gonna drive this again? Yeah. You, you said that with a point. Like, yeah. Seaports products are gonna keep Yeah, it. they're coming in and they're gonna uh, take all of the dirt and the water straight off the car because, mate, when you're driving this thing around, it's obviously gonna get dirty in it. But we'll do a full video on this car because it, it needs its own video. It doesn't need to be put in the middle of a daily vlog. It needs its own video to show you guys how far this is coming. Literally, what, two days? Yeah. Yeah, like two days you spent doing this. Thursday and Friday and it's back up and it'll be running and driving by the end of the week. Yeah, <laughs> see the background, like, I don't want to show you guys the car, but he's like, no, oh, yeah, you know, if I stop cleaning it, I might actually, you know, get to the point where it's... <laughs> It's not ready for camera yet. It's not ready for camera yet, but we'll of course update you guys on that car and do a full video because it needs it. It's literally on another level. It's making me feel like I need to take my Series 1 to that level at some point. The new SVR. It's now 4.4, so let me answer this. How is right. it? So, now, okay. I've been told by a source that yeah. we met on Saturday. We met on Saturday, he's your, a lad. My new mate, my, my mate. new mate, yep. Uh, and he said he got to go and preview the new Range Rover. Yeah. Sports so, like evolution, yeah. Right, so, and he was chatting to the designer of the uh. current new, sorry, the new version. Now they've just released the five liter V8 as V8 we in know, the but Vogue. in the new in the new Vogue, but yeah. they've scrapped it for the SVR. So why is that? Is it because mm. I know because that BMW engine is capable of big things. Ah. We think it's going to be six seven five. Six seven five. So seven hundred horsepower. Taking another hundred horsepower. Why would it? That's just insane. So hopefully, it's actually tomorrow, I think, they release that when we're shooting this video. They're releasing yeah. the new Sport. I'm, again, a Sport fan. You're a Sport fan. We're Land Rover fans. So I'm really excited to see what that car is like. And when they do uh, sort of down the line come out with the SVR model, we will see that. And I'll be excited. If everybody is out there that wants me to shoot it, I'd love to see that. I'd love to go and experience what is basically a 700 horsepower Range Rover. It's just silliness, but we love silliness on this channel. So we're gonna end today's video by uh, showing you guys around this car. Now, yes, it has a few imperfections in the engine bay that the guys here are going to be getting out for the owner. As you can see, wax oil and bits and bobs are in the engine bay. We wanted to start by looking at this absolutely beautiful bit of kit here, 1600 GT. Uh, really good condition, actually. You've seen a few of these in here recently, and yeah, some questionable, some not. This one looks like it's a really honest, nice car. I love the big spotlights on the front. I think every Mark II should probably come with these spotlights from factory. Lowered really nicely as well. Not too low, not too uh, aggressive on the stance as well. It sits quite nice, if I'm honest, as you guys can just about see with the mud flap. Looking really good. Love the stripes down the side as well. And coming inside, just show you guys inside this because few things I didn't really know about these, don't know too much about my Mark IIs, but the door panels in blue, which is a really cool feature, sport on the dash there, 
And as you can see, these chairs, super comfortable, really, really supple as well, in really good condition. And as you can see, it's actually really nice inside here. Okay, there's a few bits and bobs, but there will be. Even the door cards, I love the blue door cards at the back. And this radio as well, so I was gonna show you guys. Look how cool the radio is with the clock just down there. Don't make cars like this any more. I know that much. The gutter and stuff this is so cool. And as you can see, decals at the back with the 1600 Sport logoing. Going around the back, black panel, black bumper, 1.6 Sport badging, all in really good condition. Sport is in good condition as well. Must admit, I am getting into the Mark IIs, if I'm quite honest. I am ever growing my lust for a Mark II and the love for these cars. I like this as well. This is very, very cool. Are you just shouting in the background, swearing about things that are just happening, are you? I'm just showing everyone something I don't really know a lot about, but I really like to look around for things like this, so. Sporty. Sporty, it's a sporty number is what it is. Even the blue bits down here going in the blue door cards. Yeah, I'm about that. Again, not the knowledge when it comes to Mark IIs. I don't really know them very well. If you put me in front of a um, Cadillac from the 60s, I could tell you pretty much everything about it, but unfortunately, Mark IIs aren't quite what I have uh, been, uh, well, I suppose, shown in the past. Never really seen too many of these. Shot one for the channel. I think we've only ever shot one. It had a Toyota engine in it, I know, right? Go back on the channel, watch that car. But yeah, I actually looked, actually looked on eBay a minute ago just to see what these are worth. Can't find a 1600 Sport for sale, which is a shame. And I, the only ones I can really find are five doors. There's not too many um, above a 1.3, which is a bit of a shame. There isn't too many out there, especially in a two-tour configuration with some nice uh, mods and maybe quite, quite a nice engine in there. They're getting expensive though. You know, the Cosworth-powered ones are always going to be expensive, but anything sort of of this era that is nice is getting pretty out of hand at the moment so it's always nice to see a pretty genuine nice car although this is a south african car don't get me wrong it's been in a dry state you know it's not too much rust in that sense it's always nice to see one either way and like i've just said the more mark twos that come in here the more i think oh, that's really really cool i'd like one of them before they get really out of control on the pricing but i fear we might be already a bit too far away on the pricing with you know the market at the moment it's just getting out of control mate at the end of the day get it the pricing of stuff's just silly yes how much is this worth then this uh i don't know that's, mate. that's what i'm saying i looked on ebay and i couldn't find any I know so I le really leave a comment below if you know the sort of gts and how much they're really worth but 20 grand 20 grand see that's a, i think that's a shout I don't think that's that much money considering what you're getting yourself into. Say we're ballparking 20,000 pounds for this car. Yes, it's a classic. Yes, you know, there is a lot of them out there. In a sense, you could probably find a better one or a less, you know, a, a worse one for, for less money. But I do feel like, as I always say, and I know you guys are bored of this, the time to buy is now regardless. If this is a 20 grand car, probably be 25 in the not so distant future. With that guys, as we step back outside, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like this uh, look round the 1600 Sport, let me know in the comments below. We'll do more of this in the not so distant future. But thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow.